Well, if you own a Samsung Galaxy phone, then you might heard of GoodLock. It's one of the best application that helps you to customize your Samsung phone and take it to the next level. With that being said, Samsung has finally started rolling out a massive GoodLock 2022 update, and in this video, we will be taking a look at some of the best new features that has been added to the GoodLock family. With that said, stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1,500 likes on this one. So, drop a like, leave a comment, and let's get started. All right, guys. First things first. If you haven't already, then just head over to the Galaxy Store and update the GoodLock application. Also, you need to make sure that you have updated all these modules. You will see this little icon that says N. Just tap on it and start updating the modules. First, let's talk about Theme Park that you can find inside the Family tab. After this update, you will see one new feature added inside the Icons tab. If I click on Create New. On the top, we have this brand new option called Change Icons. This basically allows you to change the icon for an individual application. Previously, you only had option to change and apply the icon pack altogether, which means all your app icons will get replaced with the selected pack. But now you can customize the icon of a single application, and you can also combine different icon packs in your home screen setups. Not only this, you can even select any image from your gallery and give a new look to the app icons. Next up, let's talk about the Sound Assistant module. If we go inside this module, we now have this brand new option called Make Your Own Volume Panel Colors, and this option was not there in the previous version. If I click on this, here we have got some beautiful themes to customize the volume panel. You get a bunch of recommended themes, so whenever you apply a new wallpaper, you can open this module and select a theme according to the color of your wallpaper. If you want to create your own theme, you can just tap on this plus icon and add different colors to your volume panel. There is another new feature that has been added with the Sound Assistant, and it's called Voice Changer. What it does is, it is basically a voice changer that can change your voice in real time when you speak using the microphone. All you have to do is turn on this option and start recording your voice. There are different kinds of voice effect that you get inside this application, and it works really well. Definitely try it out. Before I move on, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Alt Phone WhatsApp Transfer. So if you're looking to completely transfer your WhatsApp data from iOS to an Android or Android to an iOS, Altphone is a great way to do it. All you have to do is simply download and install the software from the link in the description. Once you set up the file, just click on WhatsApp transfer. Here you need to connect both of your devices and click on transfer. Then you have to follow the instructions on your screen. Basically, it helps you to backup the WhatsApp data from your old phone and then you can easily restore the backup to your new smartphone. It's a very simple process. You just have to follow the steps and within few minutes you will be able to transfer all your WhatsApp data. Definitely try it out. You will find a direct link in the description below. Next up, we have one of my favorite module called One Hand Operations. This basically lets you customize and add different gestures to the right and left side of your screen so you can control your phone easily with just one hand. Once you have updated this module, there are two new changes you will notice in the swipe actions. If you select quick tools as an action, you will now have this brand new design that beautifully adapts the color theming and it looks great. Whenever you change the wallpaper and apply a new palette, not only it changes the app icon and the accent color, but it will also change the color of the quick tools that you access using one hand operations. Next, we have a brand new option called move screen. Let me go ahead and set it for swipe right action. As you can see, you can literally move your phone screen when you set up this action. I'm not sure why Samsung has added this option, but I just wanted to let you guys know about this new feature. Moving on, let's talk about Nice Shot. This module adds more function and enhances the way how you take screenshots and do screen recording on your Samsung phone. I have already updated this module, and as expected, I was able to find one new feature called Add Delete button. Now, if you take a screenshot, you will see a delete button in the toolbar. So, if you accidentally take a screenshot. You can immediately delete it with the help of this button. I think it's a really cool feature, and I'm sure it will help me out. Finally, we have Home Up module. If I go inside Home screen, here we have this brand new option called Apps List. Guys, if you don't like vertical scrolling that you get in the app drawer, just go ahead and enable this feature. It will change the look of your app drawer, and now you will have this horizontal view. I have already got this feature, but I know a lot of you are waiting for this update. So just install the latest version of Home Up module. I am sure you will now get this amazing feature on your phone. So that's it for this video. These are some of the best features that has been added in GoodLock. Make sure you update all the GoodLock modules and let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature. 
And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android, and I will see you guys in the next one.